Hey, it's me, Mr. Jason. Now, before we get into our video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button as well as that notification bell so that you know whenever we upload. Also, don't forget to comment down below a book that you would like for us to read together. I love requests. And when I get requests, that lets me know that you're out there listening and watching. And we love that here at Read Aloud with Mr. Jason. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And don't forget, keep reading. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. To wherever you are in the world, my name is Mr. Jason, and today I have a read aloud for you. Welcome back to another episode of Read It Out with Mr. Jason. If you've been reading along with us here these last couple of weeks, you would know that we've been talking about science. Matter, to be exact. And if you've been paying attention, you know that matter is all around us. It can be a liquid, solid, or a gas. If you haven't been keeping up, here are two stories that we have previously read that talk all about matter. So be sure to check those out after this story. As we read our story, keep those eyes open for the sight words that you see here on our list. Also for the parents and the teachers that are watching, here are a few key developmental indicators this particular story teaches. This story is all about water. Can you guess what type of matter water is? That's right, it's a liquid. So join us as we get into our story, It Could Still Be Water, words by Alan Fowler, and read aloud with Mr. Jason. Before we get into our story, here are a few words to know. Liquid, solid, vapor, ice, clouds, fog, snow, rain, earth. It Could Still Be Water, words by Alan Fowler. Water. When you're thirsty, you drink it. When you're dirty, you wash with it. When you want to have fun on a hot day, you swim in it. Or sail on it in a boat. You do so many things with water. In fact, you couldn't live without water. People, other animals, and plants all must have water to live. Most of the world is covered by water. If you look at a globe, you will see the Earth has much more water than land. Even your own body is mostly water. Water is a liquid. It's wet, and you can pour it. But water isn't always a liquid. Water could freeze until it becomes a solid and still be water. An ice cube is a piece of frozen water. Water could rise into the air as tiny droplets called vapor and still be water. Water vapor is invisible. You can't see it. But if water vapor cools just enough, Sometimes you can see it. It could be the steam coming out of a kettle or the vapor in your breath turning to mist on a very cold day and still be water. It could be thick fog you can't see through or the clouds in the sky and still be water. As the water droplets and clouds cool, they get bigger and bigger. When they are cool enough, they fall to the ground as rain. Or freeze into snow. So, whether it's a funny snowman, or a fluffy cloud, or a fish's home, it could still be water. Well, How'd you like that story? 
water can come in so many different forms, but at the end of it all, it's still just water. We can have a lot of fun in water. Thank you again for joining me for another Read Aloud. I had a blast reading with you, as I always do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below of a book that you would like for us to read together. And remember to continue to share. If you're still here, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. Here is a list of all the read about science books that you could add to your library. Well, with that being said, I can't wait to read again with you soon. And don't forget, keep reading.